Well, long story short, she see me at first sight and fall in love, you know. You see me? There's no one or two way about it. You see me? But nah, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Loving your ways is it? And it feels so right to me. So right, so right, so right. Here we are going now. And I don't know the thing already. I am Specky. My name is Simone. Um, I don't really have any nicknames. I mean, I guess I have a couple. Some of my friends call me Simone Like Beyonce. <laughs> or Monse for short. <laughs> you see the similarities though, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Sim Simma. Ooh, got the keys to my bed. Duh, always. Oh um, my. Oh, sing it, baby. Girl, I'm sugar. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, my name is Simone. <laughs> And welcome guys. This is our first ever YouTube video. Mm -hmm. We have been talking about starting a YouTube channel forever. So I'm so happy that we're finally starting and we get to introduce you guys to our channel with our first video on what? Tell them what it's about, babe. This first video is gonna be how we met. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give you guys a story about how we met. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this is a good way to give some background and yes. all this all started, you know, this beautiful mm. journey together. Aww. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, it has been a very mm -hmm. beautiful journey. All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you how this video is going to go. So Jay and I are going to share both of our perspectives, but we're going to do it separately. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to share with you guys the story, the love story, how we met, you know, the real truth, the actual way, how it went. Um, and then Jay's going to go ahead and share his perspective, his story of how he thinks how it went and how we met. How we approach girl, isn't it? Mm. How we pull up. Feel me? Yes. Yeah. It's a very interesting story, guys. So this is going to be a little bit different than what you've heard. You know, all the stories of how people met. This is a really good story. And it's how I found the love of my life. Ooh. So let me go. Let me give you a little bit of background information before I go into it. So after I graduated college, Howard University, HU, um, I moved to Hartford, Connecticut to start my career. Um, and that is the city where JV and I met. Hartford, Connecticut, not the best place to be, to meet who you'd like to meet, but we're out there, isn't it? So me and my friends, normal Friday evening, you know, after work. Grab a few drinks, you know what I mean? Happy hour. Basically, my friends and I were going out one night. We, um, you know, we were pre-gaming, we got dressed. It was a good group of us. Um, that night was so much fun. Um, and so basically, we went out to a bar. Oh, it was like a bar restaurant, kind of like low-key. It was, it was a vibe. It's Barcelona. So I had to touch this bar called Barcelona, see it? JV claims that he saw me that night, which he did, he did, not claims, because he, he did. So we're in the bar chilling, then I see a group of girls pull in, you know what I mean? He said that he saw me in Barcelona, but like, I didn't see him, like, I don't remember seeing him at all in Barcelona, but he said, you know, he was watching me, I was like, oh my god, who's that beautiful woman, I need to get to know her. And then Simone popped out, she and this other girl, popped out of the group and decided that she's going to the bathroom. I'm like, wait, well, just seeing this one, is it me? And I said, that's the one I want. I need her number, I need to take her out, I'm gonna make her mine. You know, those were all the things he was thinking in his head. <laughs> okay. Call first dibs, listen. That's my type, is it me? She me I go out. There's two ways to get to the bathroom. There's one way that's further away from us and one way that she can walk by me and go back to her friends, Zin, but going to the bathroom and walking back, she walked the same way, which is further away from me. So I didn't get the opportunity to talk to her at that point, Zin. Bar full. Everybody come, shoulder to shoulder bar, isn't it? It wasn't convenient, loud. Not necessarily the best place to talk to girls and shout over the music, isn't it? So I'm going to kick back. You know my style already. You know what I mean, Mr. Smooth. And apparently he spotted me, he saw me, but he, like, Jay's the type of guy where he's just like, 
he spots what he wants, he sees what he wants, and then he like is chill about it, he thinks about it, and then like, I guess, I don't know, and then, you know, makes his move in whatever like smooth manner, whatever way he wants to, so. I don't know if we saw them leaving and we left with them. That kind of sounds stalkerish, but whatever. Somehow, we're all outside the bar together, going to another bar. Basically, I think my friends wanted to go to a different bar, so we left Barcelona, and one of JV's friends wanted one of uh, my friends, one of the girls that I was with that night, and so they were talking to her. See, so my group of friends pulled up on her group of friends. At this point, Simone hasn't seen me, hasn't noticed me the whole night, but I've seen her. Zane? And they were like, oh, where are you guys going to next? Like, you know, trying to get to know us, trying to get, you know, information of um, my friends and I. And so we were like, oh, we're going to go to, um, I think it was Division West at the time, some other bar in West Hartford. Division West, right. So we're leaving Bar Barcelona, going to Division West, the bar right around the corner. So I'm like, all right, cool. While my friends were talking to her friends, it was like, we're on a, along a line. She was the back of the line. I was at the top of the line. Is it me? I think she was looking for other friends that was still in another bar. So she was occupied at that point. So I don't know, we talked to one of her friends and whatever, whatever, trying to pull them along. So I went to the bar, I was in the line at the next bar. We got there, we saw that it was line, and we were just kind of like, eh, we were just kind of over over with the night and just like being in line and all that. So we're like, you know what, let's just call it home. So we basically, long story short, we bet, ended up going home. Me go in and ting ting, and I look for them come now. Oh no, I can't see the girl them coming to the bar. Okay, so remember, so this is like, so, so throughout the whole night, Jay is thinking about me, but um, he, you know, he didn't get the chance. He didn't get the chance to get my number. He didn't talk to me and I didn't know anything about him. I didn't know who he was at all during that night. You know, I had no idea. But anyways, long story short, the night when I first saw her, I didn't get to talk to her. Literally the next day after. So the next day, you know. Okay, drum roll because this is my favorite part of the story. So we went to the Italian restaurant and then after um, we went to the restaurant, we were leaving the restaurant and I was crossing the street. I was at the stoplight, right? Pull up on one stoplight. Simone that and the girl him from last night to leave a restaurant. So me that stoplight and I'm across the road. And I said, no, sir, a God send that girl for me. And then this guy pulls up in a red Honda and I always remember that's a red, it's, that it's a red Honda because when he told me his name, I was like, huh? How do you spell that? Or like, I don't even know because he had spelled it out and it was too many letters, so I saved his contact as red Honda. Something was wrong with my car. My car was being serviced or something and it was at the car dealership. So they gave me a different car to drive. It's me a nice red Honda. He puts his window down and he goes, hey, I saw you last night. I didn't get a chance to get your number, you know, but I'd love to get your number and take you out. So I see the friend, I was like, all right, I know the friend will remember me because I was talking to her last night. I'm like, so I'm gonna pull up now, why don't the window, man? I say, wow, you remember me from last night? I remember you from last night. And she said, yeah, oh my God, that's so crazy. Oh my God, you see me? And I say, yeah. I say, oh my God, I didn't even get a chance to talk to you. Excuse, I'm Javon, what's your name? You see me pull up on Simone, you see me? But if you use a friend as a little decoy, you know, because I'm going to say, pull up on Simone Street, I'm going to say, which creepy boy is this? You see me? So I'm going to say, and talk to the friend first. So I was like, yeah, I remember you from last night. How is everything going? Boom, boom. I said, oh, I didn't even get a chance to meet you. What's your name? You see me? And she said, I'm Simone. I said, oh my God, nice to meet you, Simone. You know. I really wanted to talk to you last night, but I thought you guys were going to come to the next bar like you guys planned to, but it didn't work out that way, is it me? So I said, I'm so happy to meet you now. But anyways, listen, we're at the stoplight and we have a few seconds. Just take down my number, all right? Is it me? I went up to his car, um, I put in my number and I was like, yeah, text me, you know? And so then he texted me, um, I don't know if it was like that day or the next day, and basically introducing himself. But here we're going to. I have, I have style still in the cars. I could have easily said, no, give me your number, you know? Girls have a way where if you show too much interest, it's as if they're not going on. You know, especially when they don't know you, when you show them too much interest and intent initiative, call them or text them. You come off wrong. But you see, when you give them your number, 
You see me? You have to give them your number and make them call you. Make them show you so they're interested. You see me? So I don't care them play upon her. You see me? As soon as I move off the text, I go back and forth texting. Ray, ray, ray. You see me? Everything I go smooth. I say, yo, hit up my friends from last night, my co workers. And I say, yo, you can't believe what just happened. Um, Anyways, yeah, so long story short, he texted me and, you know, I gave him a little run around. I would answer, I wouldn't answer because I was just like, eh, you know, this is cute and all, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm looking for anything. I don't even know if I want to entertain anybody because you know how these be. Mm, okay. You should not pay me no attention. So I'm going to text her and if you double text her, I'm not get no reply, no, you know? No way, like, she, she not really show me so she interested fully. So I say, oh, what this? You see me after my swear thing, so I hit the jackpot and we're in. Girl, now give me no vibes. So, one Friday evening now, you know, the woman, now I have no plans and thing. I mean, I say, yo, you know, so I text that be here one last time. Yeah, so he asked me out, and I was like, okay, cool, yeah, great. Like, where do you, like, tell me, like, I just moved here, you know, show me around, what's good. Um, so he planned it out, he picked me up. Um, and it's, this is so funny because he picked me up and he picked me up in a blue car. So when I, um, so when he told me he was he, he was here, I came outside and I was looking for the red Honda and I was like, yo, like where is he? And then I and then he's like, oh, I'm up up front, or whatever. And so I walked to the car and I was like, ah. Um, and then you know that car was um, not the red Honda. So I was like, oh, hey. So is it a red car or me that I pull up at the stoplight in? The red car that I met her in and pulled up at the stoplight in. I returned that car car. That car wasn't mine. You know what I mean? As I told you, I, my car was at the shop for servicing her. Something was wrong with it. I don't remember. But it wasn't my car. So I'm gonna go and get back my old car you now, my little blue under. You see me? In a sexy and nice like the red one. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up now the blue under the music night night. Radio now work, is it me? So I have a little knocking sound, something I drunk on the ground, you know? So we um, we drove to this rooftop bar outside, like right outside of West Hartford. It was such a great, such a great first date. We just kicked it off, and the first thing that I always remember that we talked about in the car was our our mutual love for soccer and how we both played the same position. So right then and there, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna like this guy. Yeah, so we're talking, you know, oh, you know, from Jamaica, how long have you been in Hartford, and how do you like Hartford, and, you know, so what did, you, you know, how did you get here, or whatever, whatever, football, scholarship, or, you know, she's like, oh, really, you play soccer? I'm like, yeah, and so, I mean, she's like, soccer is my first love, I love soccer, oh my god, we should play sometime, you know, and to me, we yeah, meet a girl, you know, and she into football, you know. You come like one of the best. Is a is a football is so important to me and my life in so many different ways. And if we can connect on that level, it's as if I can connect with you on anything else. That that, that let down the guard. That that was what broke all barriers for us because we connected on something that we really love. Um, he was just so funny. He was just had a really calming presence um, and he was fun and you know if there's anything about me I love having a good time I love good energy I love good vibes and he just brought that anyway we'll go to the rooftop bar we laugh we laugh we drink we laugh we had a really good first date you know what I mean after that rooftop bar I drove back to my apartment actually and then I ended up renting city bikes you know what I mean? Something different. Put a little twist in it. You can't just be boring and drive everywhere. Take it. We're coming from happy hour, so we have a few like we have a few drinks under us. You know what I mean? But we still still a ride go down there, you get me? Yeah, so we ride go to bars. We're in the bar together, we took shots. We were so drunk, we were wasted. You know what I mean? And then her friends text her asking, you know, what's happening, what we're we doing tonight. I ended up inviting him to go out with my friends and I, and then we spent the whole night just all going out. They met him, everyone kicked it off. He was so generous, buying us shots. Shots, shots. Wasted. You see me? And then after the bars, we went back to our friends and we party and we danced. It was like a 
perfect, perfect first date. For perfect first impression. We connected, we love to have fun. You know what I mean? We love soccer, football. You see me? It was just a real connection and it was it was so much fun. Like I just was like, wow, okay. I can like I was like I can vibe with this guy. Um, so yeah, that was our first date. But but yeah, so I know I was supposed to only share with you the story of how we met, but that um, but I you know provide a little bit more about our first date. Um, but yeah, so that is my version of the story of how we met. Yeah, that's how we met, and that was our first date. Oh, it was supposed to be how we met alone. But apparently first it got into it as well, so yeah. So that is my version of the story. That was how we met. It was a I think it's a good story. It was just, you know, it was faith as she would put it or it's as if it was meant to be. You know what I mean? Because what are the odds of me pulling up at that stoplight after missing my chance the day before? pull up on her and talk to her acting all smooth, you see me? Thought I missed the opportunity to get at her. But the next day I pulled up at the light and saw her there. I was like, yo. Sent from heaven. You see me? Summer start for you and I'm like, Keisha call. Sent from heaven. You see me? Like a god sinner in my life, man, I tell you. You're my nice, nice girl, man. I said, yo. I feel me car mine. Yes, I'm on. <laughs> well, guys, I'm happy that we got to share with you our story, how our our journey started together. Sent from heaven. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we can't uh, can't wait to continue to share different moments with you, different stories with you, how we have fun, what we look forward to, learning about one another. Um, yeah, welcome to our, our journey of JV and Simone. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We have a few different dynamics that's working. You know, I'm Jamaican, I'm not from here. We have a different culture, you see me? You guys mm -hmm. can get the first an experience of how this thing works, you know? Yeah, yes. you see me? So I'm excited to show you Yes, now you're excited to watch me. Us. <laughs> you see me? Wait, is this a one man show? No, I'm on a two woman. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright then, so here what? If you want to see more and don't miss up on nothing, what do you need for that? Yes. Subscribe, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. comment. All right, Tell us then. what you want to see mm -hmm. and we'll provide it to you. Yeah. Is it me? <laughs> so make sure the next one don't miss you. The miss is to this. And you can't have this. As I wear this. Is it me? Is it me? Alright, subscribe, <laughs> comment. Out. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be interesting.